My name is Walter Wimberly, and I'm an assistant professor of computer science at Tusculum University. I would like to take a couple of minutes to highlight our 2023 senior projects. One thing that we'd like to do with the senior project is to tailor each project to match the student's skills and interest. Being a smaller school allows us to get to know our students. This way, we can help them design a senior project that will showcase what they can do to a potential employer. This year, we had two students. Both wanted to work on games and took on the challenging of developing within a system that they were unfamiliar with at the start of the term. They focused on different aspects of game development and worked individually over the term to complete their projects. Both completed their projects in about three months using the Unreal 5.1 game engine. Our first student also monitored in graphic arts. Knowing that he has an affinity towards gaming, I suggest that he look into level design. He put together his project using lots of different resources, but keeping the theme and design interconnected. He built both a town and cave sections and included different non-player characters or NPCs. Some provided backstories, while others were there to battle. Basic AI was scripted to drive all of their actions. He created both blueprint scripts and decision trees to make the NPC's behaviors more realistic. He also built a simple health system, including a way that you could heal yourself and a responding method in his game in case your health went to zero. One thing we often talk about is working within limitations and making trade-offs while designing a new system. In this project, he wanted to have things like shadows and dynamic lighting. However, he was using an older laptop, which could not handle that much processing load. So he made some wise trade-offs to create a workable game by simplifying foliage, lights, and removing shadows. Developers always have some features they wish they could add, but they run out of time, money, etc. before that they can actually add them. As we talk about our software engineering course, he learned how to set proper milestones and focus on creating a minimally viable product or MVP. That way he had something he could deliver and show prospective employers while continuing to work on making it better in the future. Our second student wanted to work on a different aspect of game development. His work focused more on game AI, specifically on creating smarter NPCs that would act more like real people. In his game, an outpost is taken over by zombies, and he worked to recreate how characters would react. Would that be from hearing you walk around, seeing you, or seeing someone else near them and reacting to their actions? He faced some challenges while working with a new system. Some of these same issues plague established companies who have spent large sums of money trying to solve these exact same problems. So while he was not able to complete everything he set out to do, we always believe that making any progress forward of any type is always an important step forward. One of the things we teach when solving problems is how to prioritize our time and resources. That way we can solve the most pressing problems immediately and others in version two, because software that doesn't ship doesn't count. Of course, we've had many other projects over the years. These include things like business applications, online surveys, threat detection for network security, and many more. So whether you're looking to go to grad school or get a job, these are the types of experiential projects that will help you to your next step. If you want to learn more about computer science at Tusculum University, please follow one of the links below.